Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. Ray Ferraro is between both benches. Ray, what do you make of the first two periods tonight? New York's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. It goes from disappointment to embarrassment now. I mean, there has nothing gone right for them tonight. New York's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. They've worked on the power play a lot in practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Shoots it, and that's blocked in traffic. Now he takes it over the line. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come. And now he angles it across to Pellet. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now he tries to get it across to Byra. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Great poke check on the reach. Here he is, shot right in front. Answered the call there. New York's in on the offensive attack now. Here's a shot. Makes a save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Chewskins played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. Fisher's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Avs win the draw. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Rantanen's up at the box. Bjorkvitz got it in the defensive end. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. He scores! And if my game notes are correct, it's a nice milestone number for him here. Yeah, 50 goals, and he said he wanted to get there, so he pumped it away tonight. It's now in his rearview mirror. The Avalanche have got one back, but they still trail by two in the third. Yeah, James, and this is a big hole because you're not going to inch your way back. You've got to take the period over. Nelson's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Nichuskin. Sends it in front. A blast. Looks to set up at the point now. He scores! You're down by a couple. You want to give yourself the opportunity for a time goal. They've done that with this one here. Colorado's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Bovillier. Angles it over to Lee. Feeds the puck to Delzato. Landeskog's got it against the boards. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Paul Mary. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Avs gain possession along the wall. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to Pellet. And that pass doesn't go. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Hey, he's got 50 goals now. That's pretty satisfying. Halfway to 100 as he looks at the replay of that one. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Colorado's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And uses the length of the stick to knock that puck away. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Puck scooped up by Paul Mary. Right up the gut. Here they go. 
Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Can't make the connection on the pass. Fisher's picking up steam. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Couldn't make the connection on the play. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. A lot of focus on the penalty killers now. This is an important time with a one-goal lead. The Avs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. They deserve this power play. The last couple of shifts, they've been threatening for the tying goal. Finally, they own a power play. Turn that one aside. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. He got on that hit. Oh, and here's the pass. And there's a great pad save. I think he just got a piece of it with his toe. Tries to clear the puck. And they get it down. Uh, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Quick pass to Makar. Can't connect on the wow. pass. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Picked up along the wall by Engvall. Couldn't complete the play. And that's knocked away by Sisikis. Plays the puck up ahead. Quick feed to Landeskog. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Great A chance right in the middle of the ice and the goaltender makes the stop. The Canadians are on the schedule for the next day here. Yeah, it's fine for us to look ahead, but you really can't do that. You still got to finish the job at hand. Colorado's won the faceoff. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Well, goalie had to be sharp there, James. That's a top-notch chance right in the middle of the ice. The Islanders preserve the lead as their penalty killers get the job done. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five on five. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Barzell. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Landeskog stick handling in his own zone. Puck dumped in. New York's got possession of the puck. Oh, I love all these goals, James. I mean, you're racking up the goal calls like crazy, which means post-game dinner is going to be a lot quieter. Oh, I love it. Bellows has got it along the wall. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Islanders played along the boards. Has in front, moves it again, and he comes up with the save. And that's intercepted by Parisi. He's trying to do too much with the puck there. They're already ahead. This is a time for safety. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. But he came out and challenged a good save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Colorado's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Still has possession. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. From one point man to another. Grabs it with the glove. Here in the later stages of this period, the Islanders have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. Nelson's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. It's a great way to protect the lead. Get it deep into the offensive zone and try and run around on the forecheck a little bit. Kill the clock when you can. Here's a short pass to Lee. Shot! Uh-uh! That's blocked away. Hey, the goalie's just playing the law of averages here. They try to make themselves as big as they can. I mean, it looks like a bunch of people trying to get onto a bus. It's so crowded in front of the net. Yet he's in the right spot to make the save. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McCall. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. A 
critical draw here. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now it's grabbed by Pajot. Gaining speed through center and here they come on the attack. Moves it to McKinnon. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Quick pass to Landeskog. Final minute to go here in the third. Chance in front. Stopped with the blocker by Kemper. Quick feed to Pajo. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Colorado's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. That's blocked. New York's got the puck behind the net. Pushes it across to pull off. Takes the feed. Through center along the wing. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. Musa quickly over to Burakovsky. And he shut the door on that last play. Moves the puck over to Engvall. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. The Avs see their winning ways finally come to an end, but they still played pretty well, I thought. I don't know really what else they could do tonight. I thought they played a pretty good hockey game as well, James. They just didn't get any result for it at the end. But you win a lot in a row, eventually you're going to lose.